Okay, something's happening now. You get a bunch of movement on your cluster, reduce engine power, you get needles move around. So it's establishing communication. This is the second time I attempt this. The first time nothing happened, I think. And it just gave me an error or something about communication with truck didn't work. Turn ignition off. Ignition's off. Press OK. Please wait. See if it accepted the tune program. Vehicle did not respond. What the fuck? Resetting tuner. Great. Okay, guys, I was finally able to figure this shit out. So the reason why this super chips wasn't connecting to my truck, it would give me an, an error of vehicle, vehicle not connecting or vehicle not detected, something like that. And it wouldn't work. Did some digging and it's been working fine for the past year that I've had it. I I would make some switches here and there, go from performance back to mile, the fuel economy um, program. You know, I toggle back and forth from time to time. But recently I got a aftermarket stereo that I installed and I've researched where you need to disconnect that or any aftermarket parts that you put in your truck, like major aftermarket parts. And I know the stereo is a big one. I have aftermarket headlights and stuff like that, but I wasn't getting issues even when I swapped that and was still able to use the super chips. But as of recent, I'd say about the past two months, I just haven't been able to swap back to the the mileage, uh, the mileage tune, and around the same time I thought, man, I think I installed this aftermarket stereo around that time, so I think that's the reason why, guys. So what I did was I completely disconnected the power, I disconnected the radio as well, and I have a backup camera, which is this cable right here. I have a backup camera, and that's not getting any power because it it's connected to this back here, right? So as you can see, turn ignition off. Turn that off. Press OK when complete. And before it was giving me like a, a vehicle not responsive or some, some kind of issue like that. There it is. Hope this helps guys if you're having any kind of issues with a programmer like this or any other kind of programmer, different brand or what have you. So look into aftermarket parts, try disconnecting them and see if that helps. Peace out.